Hi, my name is Russ, and I had a surgery conducted at UCLA Hospital, and this was a spine surgery. And although there was a lot of complications and things that I didn't think should happen, probably the most egregious thing that occurred was <clears throat> that the medical device that was supposed to be implanted during my surgery was not implanted. So what's really uh, crazy about that is that you really if your surgery is you know reasonably successful otherwise you don't have any recourse uh, even though you may have been misled by your doctor about the procedure that you were going to get uh, so I wanted to warn people about that especially if you're going to be having a, a major surgery and especially if it's going to be conducted at UCLA uh, the very first thing I would tell anybody is to get your surgical procedure explained to you and provided to you in writing so that if they deviate from that procedure, uh, you can later go back and say, look, this was what I was told I was gonna get, and the doctors did something different when I was under anesthesia. Um, it's uh, unfair that doctors can do that and get away with it, but apparently they can. Uh, so you really want to be careful about that. I have a lot more information about my surgery and UCLA in general at uclapatientcare.com. Again, that's uclapatientcare.com. So visit that website if you want to read more about some things you should be careful of. And uh, also, you can share your story, too, if you have a story about a surgical procedure that didn't turn out well and if you want to share advice with other people. You can also ask me questions through the website, and I'd be happy to respond to whatever questions you might have. Um, <clears throat> and I would be happy to advise you in any way that I can. Thanks for watching and good luck to you.